tax me more, doesn't it? It's not that I want to punish your success. I just want to make sure that everybody who is behind you, that they've got a chance at success too. I think when you spread the wealth around, it's good for it. Uh, spread the wealth around. Remember that one, Joe the Plumber. Welcome to Give Me Five. Barack Obama talking uh, to CNBC over the weekend and uh, asked about how much is enough to take from people. What's the lie? What's the limit? Watch. A bunch of times that getting the wealthy to pay a little bit more. Yeah. And you succeeded in raising that top tax rate to 39% or rolling back the tax right. cuts. Is there a limit there? Is there a limit to how much you believe? the government should take from an individual in terms of a top tax rate. Oh, that must be above his pay grade, because guess what? He does not have an answer. You know, I don't have a particular number in mind, uh, it, it, but if you look at our history, uh, we are still well below what, uh, you know, the, the marginal tax rates were under Dwight Eisenhower or, uh, you know, all, all the way up uh, even... Uh, through Ronald Reagan. The tax rates are still lower uh, on average uh, for, for most folks. Uh, and what that means is that um, we probably can make some more headway in closing loopholes that folks take advantage of, uh, as opposed to necessarily ri uh, raising marginal rates. Loopholes, they're called, they're called deductions. He takes advantage of loopholes because he only pays 20 some odd percent by taking advantage of loopholes. More. You know, uh, uh, an obvious example is, is carried interest. I've talked about this before. Uh, you know, so I've got uh, friends of mine who are hedge fund managers and they don't always like to hear it, uh, but some I think will readily acknowledge. If, if you're making a, a billion dollars a year and you're paying 15%, on that billion dollars when your secretary is paying 20 percent 23 percent you know that's not fair it's not fair it didn't what i mean i'm not you know i'm going back a few years when people even followed what he pays in income tax there was a point a couple years back where his secretary paid a higher rate than he did the women in his office make less than the men he wants what's good. He wants to tell you all and me all and we all what to do, but he doesn't have to abide by it. More. And if we close some of those loopholes, not just carried interest, but a range that we know are not economically productive, then uh, sure, some folks uh, don't get to take advantage of stuff they shouldn't have been taking advantage of anyway. Uh, but that also means we can finance government, keep our deficits under control, and invest in the things that we need to grow over the long term. That's what I want to do. I want to pay more taxes to finance government. That's really what I want to do. Don't tell anybody the Treasury's taking in more money now than ever before, but we need to pay more in taxes to finance government because there's no waste in government. <laughs> oh, by the way, here's another oldie but goodie. Just like Joe the Plumber, we brought you that at the beginning. Let's close with a couple of these. Remember this little ditty. If you've been successful, you, don't, you didn't get there on your own. You, you didn't get there on your own. I, I'm always struck by people who think, well, it must be because I was just so smart. There are a lot of smart people out there. It must be because I worked harder than everybody else. Let me tell you something. There are a whole bunch of hardworking people out there. Yeah, the you're not so smart, you're not so hardworking just because you're successful. Remember that? And remember how he topped it off? Oh, it's unforgettable. If you got a business, that you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. Right. If you got a build a business, you didn't build that. Somebody else made it happen. <laughs> oh my goodness, folks. Uh, we knew what we were getting with this guy. And yet because I believe uh, uh, the color of his skin People didn't care. A majority of people didn't care. They didn't care the first time, certainly. And the second time, after his miserable failures, they didn't care again. Now they would elect Romney by nine points. Because the, uh, I don't even want to say it's war, the, the thrill is worn off. Why was the thrill ever there? Because this is who the man is on the Steve Molesberg Show.